Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to show you how to prepare amniotic membrane from placenta for different uses in ophthalmology. The donor undergoing elective caesarean should be selected and she should be hepatitis B, C and HIV negative. As soon as placenta is delivered, it should be brought to the I operation theater now in a jar now open the jar remove all the blood thoroughly wash the placenta containing amniotic membrane with tap water and during this process the amniotic membrane will become loose to the underlying chorion now gently separate it with hands from placenta by blunt dissection now you can see here the cord connection that is attached to the umbilicus the fetus now what is amniotic membrane it consists of a single layer of epithelium, a thick basement membrane and an avascular stroma. It is shining, semi-transparent, yellowish-white, jelly-like membrane. So, you can also take help of the scissor. Your main aim is to remove all the blood from the amniotic membrane. The placental tissue from the amniotic membrane after complete separation of amniotic membrane discard the rest of the chorion and clean it from the blood clots you can see we have retrieved the amniotic membrane successfully from the placental tissue now clean the amniotic membrane with basic salt solution you can see this shining jelly like semi transparent membrane it's very thin now you should clean it with BSS and you should also put gram positive covering antibiotic injection gram negative covering antibiotic injection and antifungal injection into the jar containing amniotic membrane you can also wash it with pyodine and use it as such for various ocular diseases like Mooran ulcer, peripheral ulcerative keratitis, corneal thinning, painful bullous keratopathy and lot of other diseases which we will discuss later. You can keep it for one week in refrigerator or you can cryopreserve it at minus 80 degree centigrade and use it for many weeks and months. For that you have to spread it uniformly without folds on individually sterilized 0.22 micron nitrocellulose membranes of required sizes and put it in glycerol and tissue culture at 1 ratio 1. You can see in the video that after cleaning it with the tap water now with the basic salt solution we are cleaning the amniotic membrane so the uses of amniotic membrane in ophthalmology are increasing day by day like we cover the bare sclera 
after recurrent pterygium surgery or after removing large squamous cell carcinoma of the conjunctiva we also apply it after symblepherectomy leaking blebs can be repaired with it fornesses can be formed because it is anti adhesive it is very successfully used in chemical burns in persistent epithelial defects non healing ulcers partial limbal stem cell deficiency it is believed that it has got anti scarring anti inflammatory effects anti microbial anti viral as well as anti bacterial effects anti adhesive effects very low immunogenicity and it promotes epithelialization so when you prepare it you should label it and you should you must write preparation date like we prepared on the 30th october 2019 so it's ready for the use in most of the developing countries we use freshly prepared amniotic membrane graft within a week for different ocular procedures so that was all about the amniotic membrane preparation i hope you have learnt thank you very much thanks to my assistant dr latif